I currently do not have a cup of coffee or, cup of, or a cup of tea with me. So, on today's episode, we are going to be discussing representation of breastfeeding in the media. I have a lot of preconceived notions about breastfeeding based on what I've seen on TV, what I've seen in pictures, or what I've seen on the internet. And a lot of the things is a little bit dangerous. So we are going to unbox representation in media of breastfeeding. So our first topic, or our first form of representation in media is the clingy child and that breastfeeding makes you clingy. One scene pops up into my head when I think of this and it will always be the scene in Game of Thrones where we meet Lysa Allen and you see Robin just like being a seven year old and like breastfeeding and like he's this messed up little child that has no form of social interaction which we see later on in the series when he makes a move on Sansa which is really very really strange but anyway media likes to show that people who breastfeed or children who breastfeed are these are kids that don't have any social skills they are clingy they have some form of mental um, illness or they are some in some form abused as well which is quite dangerous if you think about it and to add fuel to that fire Lysa Allen she was a very unstable character and most times when you see mothers who have clingy children in movies or series they are also quite unstable so the one representation that people have in media is the clingy child of breastfeeds which is quite dangerous and we should really fix this. So the second one is the aesthetic of a baby or using baby or motherhood or childcare as a prop in media, which is great. I feel like movies and TV series are amazing if you want to advocate for something or show representation because wow. ever, whenever you think of a baby you always see the bottle, the pacifier, or the dummy depending where you are in the world um, the nappy bag, the stroller and then you see the nursery also so the nursery is my biggest gripe is the fact that children or babies I know, I know practicality when you were shooting a scene in a movie and for aesthetic purposes, the parents sleep in one room, the baby sleeps in the other room, you have a pretty little nursery with a crib. However, in reality, children should actually be sleeping in the same room as you, especially for breastfeeding, because we, because you want your child in your room. Because like we said before, your child actually stimulates breastfeeding. So what should actually be shown in movies is the crib in the bedroom. And no bottles, no pacifiers. The third thing, the third form of representation in media, and I actually really liked this one, was the reaction of people to breastfeeding. And again, one scene that always comes to mind is in Friends, when Joey and Chandler see Karen breastfeeding for the first time and they freak out. And like you just see them like get up and go to the kitchen and like Ross follows them. I love that scene. And it's so important that they showed it. And the fact that they showed it in the 90s TV series is so cool. Because people are always scared. People had assumptions. And especially with like a woman's body, your breast. It's like a sexualized organ that people get scared or people feel uncomfortable when they see others breastfeeding however it's okay to ask questions it's okay to be awkward it's okay to be scared and that's what we see with joey and chandler in that scene is that they freak out they go away and but then they come back and they like slowly start asking canon questions and then jo joey takes it overboard as usual but i just thought that scene was brilliant because we do see how other people react to breastfeeding and it's not just men like you get women that also 
I have a thing against breastfeeding or feel uncomfortable when they see other people breastfeeding when in reality it's a normal natural thing and like I mean if I have to watch people at a restaurant chewing on their food with their mouth open and like particles sitting on their beard those same people can watch or can be in the presence of someone that's breastfeeding their child so here you go and then finally this is actually a really short video but finally the last representation is what is okay and what is not okay in media and this isn't really a representation problem this is more of a taboo slash, slash social norm issue so we can't show fem we've never seen a female lead or a mother on a tv series or movie breastfeed and have proper child interactions or healthy child interactions with their babies and I'm, I'm generalizing obviously because they pro they pro there is a lot where you see like mothers having good interactions with their children but you never see breastfeeding you never see that maternal interaction especially if you have strong female characters and it's a problem because if that's not a, that's not okay and showing a mother breastfeeding isn't okay in a positive light but sexualization of breastfeeding and sexualization of boobs and men having a fetish regarding breastfeeding and lactation and um, using it as a comical gag is okay and like it's movies are a form of art it's a form of expression and people are going to get battered with whatever you see on the media but if that's okay if it's okay to show that side of the media and of breastfeeding it should be okay to show the positive side as well because you get people that would like to see the positive side of breastfeeding or the positive side of anything that is um, turned into a fetish through media and film so yeah that's basically the representation of breastfeeding or how i see the representation of breastfeeding in the media let me know what other things you feel are poorly represented represented in media and we can discuss it let me know what other breastfeeding what other representation of breastfeeding you've seen in the media or nutrition in general that you've seen in the media that you don't agree with so yeah I hope I got you thinking, I hope I sparked an interest in this, a further interest in breastfeeding. Definitely becoming a breastfeeding fanatic. But yeah, until next time, stay warm, stay awake. And yeah, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I hope I inspired you. If not, I hope I entertained you with my rambling. So until next time, bye guys. Getting tired. It's really nice weather. I love I love winter in Cape Town. It's the best. Yeah. I feel like I'm becoming a fanatic regarding breastfeeding. It's quite scary actually. Number three. Number three is the trauma of breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is painful. Breastfeeding is no, that wasn't number three. Ross and Chan, not Ross and Chan, sorry. Whenever I watch Friends, that's one of my favorite episodes or favorite scenes. I don't think I actually like the episode that much. Can't remember what happens in that episode. That's the only thing that I remember from that specific episode. But anyway, is that the one where Phoebe tastes breast milk?